to have some beautiful puppies. Yes, yes. Hey guys, welcome to today's YouTube video. Um, in the video, in today's video, um, it's gonna be a little different, I guess, than the rest of my videos. And if you are, I mean, let me just get into it and tell y'all what it's gonna be about. I know that most of my videos have been like, um, like doing a lot of stuff, like, um, maybe snow came, so that's like we're doing a lot of action, or, um, something came in the mail, so we're opening that up. I mean, well, I guess that was, <clears throat> I guess that wasn't really a very, um, like moving video, I guess you say, or outdoors like video. But anyway, today's video. I came in here, well first, um, here, I'll just go ahead and show you all the chicks. They're still in our living room, but they're fixing to be able to go outside. And, um, so I just came today to update y'all on them and tell y'all how good they're doing. Um, like, I think when we got them, they had, like, just a little bit of feathers on the wing. Now, they're getting feathers on the tail, and their wings are almost completely feathered out. So, um, so the chickens are coming along good. But I really came in here to talk about is my dog, Princess. Um, y'all, I'm sure, I know y'all seen her in my videos. <clears throat> y'all, I don't really show her a lot, though, because, I mean, there's just not been a lot with her. Though, I have been um, planning to do some stuff with her. But, I've suspected this for a while, but I didn't want to say anything. Because, I figured if I came on here and said something, and then, like... It being completely wrong, it just back away stuff, video time. But um, it's I'm for sure now. My dog Princess, she's um, she's a great Pyrenees, um, but she is pregnant with puppies, and um, she's like near her due date because it was back in January when she was bred. So. She should be having puppies any time soon. So, like, it was in, near the beginning of January. And, um, she was bred with our male rough collie. We do not, like, leave them in a fence together or whatever. But, at that time, she had to be in here. And, so, um, like, she, she's been in here and stuff with her male collie. And then now she's pregnant. And so, and she should be expecting any time now. But anyway, let me show you the chicks and let me show you my dog. They're actually all in here right now. Um, we haven't set up the area for her to have, like, I think it's called a whelping area. But um, we haven't set up the area for her to give birth to her puppies. And I would, honestly, I think it'd be nice to have them, like, just have it outside or whatever, you know, at a good place. But the thing is, is that right now we don't have a place like that where it'd be completely secure, because we've got, we've got like different sections in our fence. So we've got like an upper fence closer to our house, which has dogs in it. Like um, most of our dogs, like the male collie, he's um, in a different fence that way. Um, like he can't be with the females all the time, because that would just like wear the females down, and then soon they would begin to get sick and stuff but and then in our other fence we call it the pasture and it's where we've got like farm animals and that's where the two our two female dogs stay our two great pyrenees um and princess is actually a puppy of another one of our dogs named bella um but anyway that's besides the point but we have them in a different fence and they, we have a pen in the pasture, but right now we've got some other stuff going on with it, and we don't really have a building under it. And I just feel like it'd be more practical to have them here. And with our um, when Princess, with when um, when Princess's mother had puppies, we had them here in our living room in like a dog pool. It's, I mean, it's probably about like probably about like this high or whatever like from so I would say probably about like a foot off the ground so it keeps them puppies for quite a while and it's really like long and stuff 
and so it's easy for them to stretch out of there, feed all the babies, and so we're going to be having them in here, and hopefully I'll catch um, at least some of the birth on video to show y'all, but she's definitely nearing because her nipples are even beginning to fill up with milk, so let me show you the chicks, and then I'll show you Princess and show you how good she's doing. Guys, I was editing, and I realized y'all couldn't see the chicks. Apparently, I'm not too good of a um, camera operator, but there they are. There's more of them. Well, see, they're jumping. As I said, when I was recording, I probably won't show all that. But um, they're flying now and stuff. They're about to go outside. So, yep, that's the chicks. Princess, look at her. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't have her in the view. That right there is her womb. And let me just say, it is big. Like, that's not like blotation or anything like that. That's what she's, she's got a big wound. I bet y'all already noticed right here, right below my hand, that's a nipple. And it's got milk in it already. So, um, like, I can literally hold that in my hand. That's how much milk it's got in it. And, so yeah, like, she's got milk already prepared she's got milk already prepared so whenever that time comes she'll be um she'll be ready for the puppies and i'm expecting that it'll be like maybe thursday next week i think it's gonna be pretty soon and i think it's gonna be sometime next week but um she's she's ready she's done really well yeah, <laughs> that's that's really all I have to say about it. She's been a good girl. She has been in, pa in the pasture this whole time, uh, but we brought her up here because, well, she's about to pop. I guess it won't really be my video if I don't show you all the farm animals. So Princess kind of is, unless she's over here, she's breathing kind of heavy. She's just worn out. But um, I guess it would be one of my videos if I don't show you all the farm animals. So actually, let's go outside, and I'll show y'all them right now. But it's a beautiful spring day. It started out very sunny, and now it's getting cloudy and windy, and I think it's about to rain. So, But that's how spring is, and that's a good way for spring to be, because without rain, your garden ain't going to survive. We have not planted our garden yet, and I promise y'all will get that on video. So, But yeah, it is hot hot out here it's cooled off a little with the clouds and the wind because it's been very windy it's been very windy but um let me just say we went swimming yesterday not saying that was the brightest idea we stayed in for about 15 minutes not our normal time because it was so cold but um yeah it's it's pretty hot out here but, uh, I'll go ahead and show you all the pool because I'm going to walk right past it to go back to our animals. It's kind of dirty right now. It's got a lot of debris in it, but but um, we'll net that out when we go swimming again. We'll net it out before we even go swimming. So, yep, it's really all about the pool. But anyway, I'll just say that it's a very beautiful day. The weather is nice. I like the, I mean, I like the cold and I like the heat, but it just calms the limit. And I met my limit for the, for the cold. Sorry, just flipped my mind right there. Y'all can hear that. It's a very windy day. It's all storm clouds rolled in. It's gray. Everything's gray. I walk back here to the animals. Here we go. There we go. Okay. First thing, the goat. Maybe the only thing. I don't know. Samson! <clears throat> oh, our mean dog. He's not mean. I'm kidding. He's a herding dog, so that's why he barks a lot. 
He just gets on my nerves. No. Then it's running from me. Why are you running? No. What's the matter? What's the matter? Hold on, I'll be right back. Well, here's the pig. She ain't running from me. If you haven't seen it already, check out the video where we fed the pig slops right there. And I'm sorry if y'all have seen it. The quality was very, like, bad, but it was already dark outside because, well, that's how it is right now. But it was already dark outside, and there was, like, stuff floating in the air. Since I had my flash on, you're able to see it. But, um, just go check that out where we fed the pig slops. Look at those dark clouds. I have got to get inside soon. For I there's a little bit of sun. For saying the donkey, he's nice. Oh yeah, I'm not sure if I said this on any of my other videos. If y'all want to see more of these animals, check out Corbin Mini Farm on Instagram and on Facebook. My siblings kind of take care of that stuff, but they upload pictures and videos of them. Um, so you'll see a lot more of them on there. I mean, every time I upload, you'll probably see the animals on here, but you just get a lot more of it there. So go check them out. I tried to put the link in the description last time, but it didn't work out. I'll try again this time. But, um, just, I mean, check them out if you want to see, if you like seeing these animals, which I'm assuming you do since y'all actually watch my videos. So, oh, well, the wind's picking you up. I probably need to get inside. Hi, Samson. That's the daddy. And there's the mommy. Just so y'all know, just in case y'all are worried, never do this. Trust me, I would never let this happen. But he is not her mom though her mom we own and her mom like we watch give birth to her um he's not her father he is not her father this is sanson this is princess so i'll start calling it. and her mom right here his name's bella so we got bella a while back to protect our goats and then um we also somebody we knew had or knew somebody who had a great pyrene and had to get rid of it for some reason. I don't remember why. But um, we took it on. It was a male and it um, bred Bella and had Princess. So, I mean, she had she actually had 10 puppies. Princess was one of them. So, um, and we've had, we've actually had him for longer than the male Great Pyrenees. But as I said, the female dogs stay in the pasture. The Great Pyrenees stay in the pasture. And since, um, you know what they're barking at, but I'm sure it's fine. And since, um, and since, and since Bella was away from Samson for that time, we know for sure that Samson is not the father of Princess. But Samson is the father of Princess's puppies. Because I had not known, but that dog, um, that we got, male dog, um, Bella was in heat at the time, and he started getting aggressive towards the goats, which is honestly kind of normal for a male dog to be aggressive when their, um, mate is in heat, and I had not known, but I was like, told my dad, I said, he's attacking the goats, I gotta do something, so we sold him, and... Then a couple months later, Princess came. And then we got Princess, like, you know, we had, and she actually had 10 puppies, but then we kept Princess. And we actually ended up letting her breed this So, yeah. Kind of cool, I guess. I don't know. Y'all can decide. But, if y'all want to buy puppies, Trust me, we'll sell them to y'all to have some beautiful puppies. Yes, 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 you're gonna have some beautiful puppies, aren't you? 
Remember, there could be rough collie. See, look how big she's swelling. Anyway, um, she's got rough collie, Great Pyrenees mix. She's Great Pyrenees with Papa's. Um, great. I'm at rough collie. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And I hope y'all call back to see Princess deliver. I may upload before then, but as I said, I didn't upload anything when I knew she was pregnant because I want to be I want to be completely sure because if she wasn't I mean I didn't want people like subscribing or whatever when I would have lied to them so I'm like positive now so subscribe and hit the notification bell to see her uh, deliver and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos of princess and comment down below if you would like to have a puppy um, we may be we may be able to make it work or we hate to tell y'all but i know y'all know it probably won't be able to make it work but if y'all love puppies then comment down below and say hashtag puppies or something like that uh comment down below and say hashtag puppies and like the videos if you love puppies and love dogs um i thought people, most people don't know about great purities though so uh they're good dogs go go search up great purities on youtube they're very Good dogs. Till next time.